Okay, we're going to use this video to walk you through how to fill out a Google form for vocabulary quiz. When we get to the form, you'll notice on this first page that there is a required question. It won't let you advance to the next screen until you fill it out. So here you just simply tap, uh, type in your name. And then here you choose which classroom you belong to. I'm just going to choose Mrs. Cheney's class, but Mrs. May's class, please know I love you guys just as much. When you're ready to go to the next page, you're going to click the next button down at the bottom. On the next page, we're going to find each of our words from uh, the chapter and some other words as well in a uh, matching section. So you'll see the Latin word here followed by a bunch of selections here. So you're going to simply go down and find the correct answer. And then you're going to scroll down to the next one. Now it's really caref uh, important and that you're careful to use the scroll button to move to the next one because if I choose one here and if I use the arrow keys, do you see what was happening here? The arrow keys just simply change your answer. So use the mouse button to do it. Now, just in the interest of time, I want to fly through this. I'm not going to answer each one of these, so at least not correctly. So don't use these as the answers here. And then when you're ready to move on to the next page, you're going to click next. If for whatever reason you want to go back and change something, you can use the back button here. Don't use the back arrow on your internet browser. That may cause your form to reset. and You'll have to start over again. So now that I've answered all the questions, I'll click the next button and we can move on. And here we have a drop down menu. And so you're going to pick which one you think is the correct one. And again, I'm just kind of showing you how it works. Don't worry about my answers being right or wrong. And again, when you're ready to move on to the next um, page and finish it, you're going to hit submit. If you want to go back and change any of your answers before submitting, you're going to click this. Once you hit submit, your answers will come to me and I'll be able to see how you did and grade the answers. So let's try to submit the form. Oops. You see what I did? I left one blank. If you leave one blank, the form will require you to answer the question before you can move forward, which is good. That way you don't have to worry about missing one. All right, now I think we're done. All right, that's all you have to do to complete it. If you're having trouble with it, feel free to email me. I'll be happy to help you out as best I can. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it, and we'll talk to you soon.